Made by Genesis is the origin of life from non-living matter. To construct any convincing theory of abiogenesis, we must take into account the conditions of the Earth about four billion years ago. Prebiotically relevant means that we're restricted to materials, procedures, and conditions that might have been available on an early Earth. Now, nobody was present at life's origin, so we'll never really know how life originated. We'll never know. But that's not what we're seeking to answer. What we're seeking is an experimentally verifiable hypothesis as to how life might have originated. So there's a whole area of a study, study called origin of life or abiogenesis. How did life begin? Such a fundamental question, I would argue that we're still clueless on it, though many people would argue otherwise, and I'll show you why, why I think we're clueless on this. Now, I'm not here to speak God of the gaps. I've never spoken God of the gaps. God of the gaps meaning that if we don't have an explanation for something, I therefore say, therefore it must be God. Now, as a scientist, I cannot do that because I don't know what the world will have for us in 500 years from now. I actually presume one day we will understand scientifically the origin of life, how life might have originated. I presume we will, but I'm saying that we are very far away from that now. 